Hey, it's Bill Deweese here once again from www.voice-over-training.org with another voiceover business building tip. I occasionally get asked by other voiceover people, what method do you use, what system do you use to, to save your audio files that you record for your clients so that you can easily retrieve those and keep track of those? And I'll take just a second to, give, to show you what I do. And uh, you may find it useful. You can uh, you know, adopt it to your, to your own system, whatever suits your needs. But the key is, if you have a business, and if you have a growing voiceover business, uh, that means the volume of work that you do will become greater and greater, and it becomes more and more critical that you have a good system for saving and tracking all of this, uh, all of this information. A couple of tips, a point that I, uh, a couple of points up front, I want to share with you that were passed along to me that you may find beneficial by audio experts who know such things, technical experts, and that is number one, it's best to to work with and save your audio files on a separate hard drive from your primary uh, computer digital audio workstation, preferably an external drive. Couple of reasons for that. Number one is that uh, if your hard drive, if your primary computer, if it crashes, you've got your audio on an external source. So it's unaffected and saved and you're good to go. Secondly, it's better to work with and save those files on a separate drive because it then frees up more processing power and more resources for your your editing and recording program. So a couple of reasons to, to keep and work with those files on a separate hard drive. Now I'm just going to quickly go through here and show you how I save a file, how I, how I name it so that I can easily identify what it is later on and also how I can easily find it. And I'm working here with an Adobe Audition 3.0. And we're going to, this is just a, uh, an audio uh, file that I recorded for a client, a couple of short uh, community service things for a local hospital. So what we're going to do is go to Save As. Let's see here. I'm going to go to Browse. And so as I mentioned, I have this all set up on an external hard drive. So let's take a look here. Let me go to that drive. Uh, Okay, I have a folder which I call VoiceOver Audio. As you can see here, and I work with, uh, there might be, she's probably 60, 70, 80 different clients represented here with their folders. So I need to have an easy way to, to identify and to find those and get to those. So uh, this particular client, I identify by its initials, which are VTN. I then have it broken down into years. You can see I've been working with this client uh, for several years now. And so... Um, I want to make sure I break it down by year, and then I break it down by month because I do a pretty high volume of business with this particular client. So I'm going to save this one in the February one, and it just so happens I've already created the file name. Um, and some clients have certain naming conventions that they'll want you to, to, which they'll want you to use, which you need to use. But if it's left up to me, which 99.9% .9 of the time it is, this is what I use. Again, you just need a method that you can remember and track. But, <clears throat> excuse me, in this, in this particular example, I just simply named it health underscore events underscore and then the date. And I usually use a simple, it's February 22nd right now, so 2-22. Um, actually, I recorded this yesterday. Today's the 23rd. We'll just make that the 23rd. 2-23-11. Again, it's got the name of the project and the date that it was recorded, in the month that it was recorded, in the year that it was recorded, so that I can easily go back and find it. And if a client says, you know, that project you did back for me in April of 2009, uh, well, I can easily go back and retrieve it, find it, and they may just need a line changed in that. So I can easily do that. But again, it's important to have a system. Use an external hard drive and have a system where you can easily save and retrieve the files that you need when you need them. I hope you find this helpful. And for more resources on growing your voiceover business, I encourage you to visit www.voice-over-training.org. Until next time.